Lesson 24, grade 8, les 24, so it's a bit for gelijkings. Baie, verschrikkelijke, baie belangrike gedeelte van wiskunde. A very, very important part of mathematics. Solving equations, finding the unknown, find the unbekende, los op vir A, los op vir X, solve for X, solve for X, solve for A. Find it alone. What can I put in there that makes this true? So it's an equation. This is a vergelijking. This is a weegskaal. What you links do with your rechts do is like a, a, a measurement. If you want to tip the scales, they've got to both be the same. Whatever you do on the left, you do on the right. If you want to add a million on either, either side, it's not wrong. I just don't know what you want to do with it, but it's not wrong. As you will mean to say, it's not wrong. But what you want to do with it, it's not wrong. It's not wrong. So, om vir A alleen te kry, wat is met A gedoen? Hy is gemaal met die breek en gemien is met 5. So, what do I get along first? The minus 5 by saying plus 5. Plus 5. Alright, so it's 3 over 4. A equals, en as jy by mekaar tel is het minus 12. The other technique is to just say, take the 5 across and it becomes a plus 5. This falls away anyway. Reg? Om hierdie 3 of 4 weg te kry, gaan ek sê maal met 4 op 3. It is timed with a fraction. So what you do with timing with a fraction is you time with the reciprocal, the omgekeerde, the reciproc. Maal met die omgekeerde. It's not wrong to say divide by 3 quarters. Divide by 3 quarters. This is not verkeerd nie. Goed, so deeling is mos maal met die omgekeerde. So ek gaan sê in plaas van deel met 3 op 4, maal ek met 4 op 3. So I'm timing with 4 over 3. Techniques. What do I do? This is what I do. So dan gaan hierdie moest nou uitkanseleer en ek bly oorlet met A is gelijk aan, is gelijk aan tekens onder mekaar, plus mal en min is en min. En dan kan jy nou gaan sê, 3 gaan in 12 en 4 keer en 4 mal 4 is 16. Or you could have said 12 times 4 is 48 and 48 divided by 3 still gives me 16, whichever way you want to do it. And then you can also test 3 quarters on your calculator, 3 quarters with that little A blocky blocky thingy, 3 quarters times with negative 16 minus 5 equals, and kijk of jy antwoord veel minus 17 geer dit gaan, dan weet jy jou som is reg. You can always test yourself with an equation. Reg nummer 1.7, wat moet wegkom? Ek soek vir x alleen, that is what I'm looking for. So what has been done with it? It has been timed, added, divided. Dit was gemaal plus gedeel. Wat kry jy eerst te weg? Eerst die deel. Dan die plus, dan die mol. First you get away the plus, then the, ach, the, the divide, then the plus, then the times. How do I get away? Divide by 4, you times by 4. If you want to put it on this side, it's perfect. Maak ons die saak aan wat ek kant van die breek het, het sit nie. En mol met 4. So that you can see the color, what I do on the left, I do on the right. Later on, you're just going to do it. You're not going to show me anything. You're just going to say, okay, well, 3x plus 2 is left, and I time on the other side, I get 80. Dit is perfect reg. 3x plus 2 blijf oor en die antwoord is 80. Later aan gaan jy vind. Jy weet sommer dadelijk ek wil die 4 weg krijg dier om weg te deel. So skryf om net sonder die 4. Maal om aan die ander kant te krijg 80 sonder dat jy daar by geskryf het. You don't have to show it to me. It's for yourself to know every step of the way what you're doing. Hoe gaan ek daar 2 weg krijg? Kom ons van die ander techniek en sê 80 minus 2. Whether you do that technique that says take the 2 across, it becomes a minus 2. Or whether you said put the minus 2 on either side, it still falls away. It's still on that side. It's exactly the same answer. So dan kry jy 3x is gelijk aan 78. Can the answer be a fraction? Absolutely. So moet nie altyd dink as jy hierdie antwoord deel dier 3, dan gaan dit weer breek kan wees, want dit kan. But divide by 3 on either side, and you don't have to show it, later on you're just going to do it. Divide by 3 is x, divide by 3 is 26. Right, en jy kan jyself weer gaan toets. Wat om op 1 toe, 3 maal 26 plus 2, alles op 4, kyk of jy sal kreeg en al antwoord gaan vir 20 gee. To get this away, now there is more than 1x. So what do you do? Get them all to the same side. En dan hou ek ook van die techniek van vat om onder toe vir die specifieke situasie. So you've got the, so many tools. Use the tool that suits the situation. Elke verskillende sommekie gaan verskillend aangepak kan word. 
Als jy al die verskillende technieken geleer het, kan jy ons nou kies wat pas jou die beste. Vir hier ene, pas dit nogal vir my mooi, om die x in een kant en die getalle aan die kant toe te vat. En dit maak nie, saak nie. You want to keep the 7 on this side, and then say minus 2x on that side, but take the three, minus 3, minus 3x across, and it becomes a plus 3x. Perfect. As jy wil gesê, hou die min 3x, plus 2x aan die kant, min 7 aan die ander kant, jou antwoord gaan die selde wees. Your steps don't look the same as mine, but your answers will be the same as mine. So it's 7 equals minus 2 plus 3. What rule is this? Jy tel gelijk soortige terme by mekaar, jy tel die koefficiente by mekaar, min 2 plus 3 is 1. So 1x is equal to 7. And actually that was a ridiculously easy question. Levels. This is a level 1 sum. Where this is a level higher sum. Right. In an exam you have to have straightforward sums as well. And if you can do the easy ones and practice, practice, you'll get to the more difficult ones as well. Hier is die laaste drie sommetjes. So, opdracht is, dit is een vergelijking los op vir x. The moment that the question is an equation, the question will say, solve for x. So, wat is daarom te doen? Different techniques. You could first take the 8 across and leave everything else, but you can also immediately start to add the like terms. Sien jy die gelijksoortige terme? What's the real? What's the toolbox? If you have a like terms, you add the coefficient. So 5 plus 3 is 8 minus 1 is 7x. And then the 8 can immediately go across. Kom ons hou dit maar vir een stap daar. You could have immediately put the 8 across to the other side. Of jy kan dit nou eerst by mekaar getel het. Of jy kan dit apart gaan met in die 8 oor getel het. Hoor jy dat of, of, of. There's not just one way of writing it. Your question has, doesn't have to be exactly step by step what mine does. As long as all the math principles are followed. So now gaan ek vir 8 oor vat. Dan gaan ek ons nou kan sê, maar dan geer dit vir my minus 8 aan die kant. It's the same principle as say minus 8 on this side, it's gone. Minus 8 on that side. Saladin. So now sit here with 7x is gelijk aan minus 14. And again, it doesn't have a fraction answer. It could. If that was 15 over 7, it's fine. The answer is 15 over 7. We have fractions in life, you know. So divide by 7, divide by 7 on either side. So x equals a plus divided by a minus is a minus. 14 divided by 7 is 2. So your answer is x is gelijk aan 2. It's become a spasie doll. Good, now is dit groot somme. So what does it mean? It's just not level 1, it's a level 2, 3 sum. Because it's just got lots of terms. 1, 2 terms, 4, 5, 8 terms, doesn't matter. It's just a higher level. Now what so you dink om te doen? Daar die is gelijk aan teken. So you could, and I wouldn't prefer that, say, write the x, write the x, write the x, bring the x, bring the x, bring the x, take all the numbers to the other side. You can do Ek sou sê, dit is maar een minder skrywerk om eerst te sê, tel die gelijksoortige terme by mekaar. Remember to keep your equal sign. And on that side also, add the like terms. En dan gaan jy ons nou kraan die linkerkant. 2 minus 6 is minus 4, minus 3 is minus 7. Because you should be doing it automatically now. How do I add like terms? Adding the coefficients 2 minus 6 is minus 4, minus 3 is minus 7. And now we have plus 5. Don't lose half the stuff along the line. Plus 5. On that side, when I add, 10 plus 2 is 12 minus... Oh, sorry. 10 plus 2 is 12 plus 3 is 15x. And those are also like terms. Min 8 in min 3 is ook gelijk soortig wat minus 11 vir my gaan gee. Nou like hy net weet, er is 1x en 1 getal. 1x en 1 getal. There is only 1x term with the x, one constant number. One term with the x, one constant number. So as jy nou die x wil met mekaar kyk, kan jy kies. Nou jy sal begin na afgekom met wat jy vrou doen is. Ek gaan na die kant wat positief gaan wees. Hy is een positief, hy is een negatief, as hy oorkom word, hy positief. Ek hou meer daarvan om op plusse te maak. Maar het maak glad nie, saak nie. I try to keep my, my terms positive. So if that one's positive and this one comes across, and becomes a positive 7x, I like to do that. But there's nothing wrong with saying minus 7x minus 15x and taking the numbers to the other side. 
Just don't take everything left or everything right, because then you're missing the point. Good, so you saw us five. In dan word die minus 11 mos nou a plus 11. Maar nou moet jy onthou, hoekom is dit so? Want eindelijk sê jy plus 11 en jy sê plus 11. It does look like it becomes a positive, but why? Because you say plus 11 and it's gone plus 11. Those two techniques, I keep on talking about it because it's so crucial. That if you t t uh, do a technique, you must know what you're doing. Goed, so jy krijg 16 is gelijk aan, en jy wees 22 x, as het nou raag is. Goed, en nou as ek het optel, wat gaan gebeur? Hier gaan een breek uitkom. This is going to give me a fraction answer. Wonderful. So that you don't get the idea, I can't have fractions for answers. If I'm going to divide by, what, what do I have to divide by 16? No, 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 you're looking for x. So you've got to divide by 20. Two, want die doel is kry x alleen, the purpose is to get x alone. So to get x alone, it's been time by 22, divide by 22, divide by 22, and then put it on your calculator. If your calculator tells you what this answer is, that's it. What did we do? 2 can go in 8 times, 2 can go in 11 times. This answer is going to be 8 over 11. Sorry, I didn't leave enough space. So it's going to be 8 over 11 equals, and there's my last answer. 8 over 11 equals x. Onder mekaar. Don't um, cram it up like I've just done on the board. Good. Sulle principe. I'd like to add the, the, the like terms first and add the like terms first and get 8 minus 15 is minus 7p. Min 9 plus 7 geef vir my minus. Twee tel die gelijk soorte getuim met mekaar. Daar is gelijk aan tekens onder mekaar. Dan kry jy hier so 20 minus 24 is min 4p, en min 9 en plus 10 geef jou plus 1. And use your calculators if you are struggling. Min 9 plus 10 is 1. En nou wil ek die p's na mekaar toe kry, so wat ek kan denk jy gaan beter wees, dit maak jy rarig saak nie. Ek gaan om nou weet, daai kant toe vat, want dan is plus 7p die grootste. Dan gaan hy een positieve antwoord hee, maar as jy nog nie so ver denk nie, moet nie waar nie. Min 7p gaan nie bly, maar daai word plus 4p as ek om oorbring. Hou die 1 aan daai kant, keep the 1 on that side, plus 1 if you want, and then the minus 2 is going to come across and become a plus 2. Plus 2, doesn't matter where you put it. At the front, at the back, it doesn't matter. But I'll tell you, op en jy kry 3. En hierdie antwoord is, min 7 en plus 4 is minus 3p. Somewhere in your sum you're going to have this answer or plus 3p equals minus 3 if you put it to the other side. Dan gaan jy vir p alleen kry, die het te sê minus, die gedeel dier minus 3 en divide by negative 3 and I did leave too little space. So it's going to be plus 1p, I've got p alone, that's mission accomplished. Ek wil die p alleen kry, want hy is gemaal met min 3, dan deel ek met min 3. Dan deel ek met min 3 en ek plus gedeel hier min is een min. En 3 gedeel hier 3 is 1. So die antwoord is minus 1. Goed, ons het al na sikke type van vergelijkings gekyk. Hierdie type het ons al gedoen, we've done this. We call it exponential equations. Want die onbekende is a expo. Nee, the moment that you're busy with exponents, we call it exponential equations. This is the belangrijke ding nie, that's not so important. I'm asking you to solve for x. So you need to look at exponents. You need to know that 8 has a power of 2. Because you know your powers of 2. I've done it a few times now, so you should know it. What are the powers of 2? What is the machte van 2? 2 tot die 1, 2 tot die 2, 2 tot die 3. 2 tot die 1 is 2, 2 tot die 2 is 4, 2 tot die 3 is 8 nie, 6 nie. 2 tot die 4 is 16, 2 tot die 5 is 32, 2 tot die 6 is 64. So jy moet dit ken. So dat die oomlik as ek vir jou sê 8, jy dadelijk vir my kan sê, hoor die juffer, dit is 2 tot die mag, 3. So nou weet ek mos dat 2 tot die x is 2 tot die 3. Beteken dit, daai x die moet dan 3 wees. That is your solution. After knowing the powers of 2, 2 to the 1 is 2, 2 to the 2 is 4, 2 to the 3 is 8, not 6. 
2 to the 4 is 16, 2 to the 5 is 32, 2 to the 6 is 64, even no more than that. But then you would know 2 to the what is 8? Eight. 8 is 2 to the 3. So that's why x is going to be equal to, that will say, x moot. 3 years. Now, that's the mooi for me. It's not divide by 2. That's nonsense. Just the deal here, 20. You make a aflevering to say, wait, you have to be 2 to the what is 8. 2 to the what is 2 to the 3. Listen to my words. 2 to the what is 2 to the 3. So the what is 3. Okay? It's not that you divide that by a 2. It's nothing mystical happening. You're making a logical solution. So if I say what a what a what a to the x equals what a what a what a to the 2, then x is 2. As I can say what 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 to the mach x is like on what 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 to the mach 6. Then is that x like on 6. This is the same thing. Selle grond tot een moed daar moest gelijk wees, want hierdie goed gelijk. So if they're equal, and they've got the same base, then that has to be the same. X has to be equal to 3. Just don't think that you've been dividing by a 2. Goed. Kom, ons gaan aan na hierdie enetje toe. Nou, baie belangrik. Jy kan nou nou so hoog dink, 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 maar jy het ons nou vergelijkings hier gedoen. You have done equations. So you would like to get the X alone. Well, the X is with the 3, so you can't separate them. This is a unit. You can't get the 3 away and let the poor x hang around there without something at the ground. You can not the 3 weg krijg nie, maar you can die 1 weg krijg. Who can have the 1 weg krijg? By saying, plus 1. We've been doing that. Who can have the 1 weg krijg? Wat om daai kan toe. Onthou jou jou doel is, kry vir x. Hier sit hy in die eenheid wat jy nie kan weg krijg nie. Maar die 1 kan jy weg krijg, weet jy? Plus met 1. You could have said, plus 1, plus 1. Or you could have taken it across. So that now you sit with, aha, powers of 3, which you should know. 3 to the 1 is 3. 3 to the 2 is 9. 3 to the 3 is 27. Jy moet ken, 3 to the 1 is 3. 3 to the 2 is 9. 3 to the 3 is 27. So 3 to the bottom is 27. 27 is 3 to the 3. So x, logische afleiding, nie deel weer 3 nie. It's a logical answer. Same thing equals same thing because they're equal. The bottoms is the same, so the tops have got to be the same. It's not divide by that base. You need it eerst dunk me. Dan is the answer gelijk aan 3. Kom ons by hierdie ene keer uit. Very important. You cannot time the 3 and the 2. Baie belangrik. Hierdie is nie 6 tot die M gelijk aan 96 nie. Jy mag nie die maal nie. This is a unit. This is a compact. It's like a, a, a wife and a husband. You do not come between them. That's a unit. You can get rid of the three. It has been time. Onthou mense, hou jou focus. Wat probeer jy kry? Jy probeer vir M kry. Your focus is to find M. You can't separate it from the two, so that's got to stay together. But what is there that I can get away? Times three. So focus, jou M wil jy hee, hy is deel van die pakkie, wat jy nie kan opsplit nie, maar die maal met 3 kan jy wegkry. How do I get rid of the times 3? It's the same thing over and over. Times 3 by dividing by 3. So if you divide by 3, what are you going to get? 3 goes into that, 32 times calculators, please. And when I, see, when I see the 32, I'm happy, because I know, if you know your powers of 2, 2, 4, 8, 1632. You'll be able to tell me that that is 2 to the power 5. Is he met me? The only thing I've seen 2 and 3, I'm going to trigger die 2 to the 1 is 2, 4, 8, 16, 2 and 3. Then I'll come in the middle of 2 to the mach 5. This is how you have your macht of 2 again. You have to know your powers of 2. Here you have to know your powers of your machte van 3. This is what it's all about. If you don't know them, you won't be able to do these signs. And find out what is 32? 2 to the power of 5. So that, again, two things are equal, bases are the same. That means the tops have to be the same. If it's a scale and the bottom is the same, the top has to be the same. So M has to be 5. You are not dividing by 2 on either side. I'm saying it again and again because I don't even want you to get that idea. 
Oké, okay, nou net as jy denk jy is op drie, dan geef jy heel te mal iets die anders. Wat gaan we nou hier aan? What is this? Something completely different. What has it got to do with exponential equations? Don't match. Although there's quite a lot of exponents here. Yeah. Maar het is nie daai type somme nie. It's not the same as these previous three. Something different. So what is they to do? Always ask yourself, what is they to do? Can I do this? And say 7x. No, it's not like terms. So leave it. What can I do on that side? Daai hele ding is a som op sy eie. This is a sum on, on its own. But you have powers. And the rules for powers going back to exponents quite a while back is if you have the same basis, you can divide. You keep the base and you subtract the exponents. Aha, long time ago. Die toolbox sê vir exponentwette, as jy deel en die grondtonne is die cellen, so can I divide everything into each other? No, only the ones that have the same basis. Can you keep the base and you subtract the exponents? So you're going to say it's 2 to the power of, remember that that's a 1. 2 to the power of 3 minus 1 is 2. Volgende een. Die sievers, if I take them, what's going to be that answer? The bases are the same, so you keep the base and everything still times, and you say 3 minus 2 is 1, if you want to put the 1 there. What happens here? You can keep the base 3 and say 2 minus 2, but why can't I just say this, ma'am? Yes, you can. As it maal is en goed kan uitkanselie, mag jy. Of, you could have said 3 to the 2 minus 2 is 0. Is that the same answer? That's still 1. So whether you wrote it or not, it's times 1. Is he met mate? If that was all that was left, then I didn't write nothing, I wrote 1. Maar nou kyk nou wat so hierdie kant van die geveg. Please don't forget that this was part of the sum. That was a huge bit of it. But now how can I carry on here? I can only say the ground on the oh no, the bases are not the same. But don't you know that that is 4? And 4 times 7 is 28. And keep this on that side and keep the equal signs underneath each other. What must you do now? Die 4, but okay, so with any word I look for x. I think myself, no need for I do I look for x. I'm looking for x. This is now the sum that we've been doing. With a whole kink in the whole story. So this is not level 1. This would be a level 3 sum. Because you've got, if you don't do that, you can't get to the rest of the sum. Exponent laws. Then it's a normal equation. Don't try and force an exponent law. If the bases are not the same, there's no exponent law. Moe nie an exponent wet forseer nie. Daar is nie grond, alle wat die selle is nie. So jy kan dit nie doen nie. Maar jy gaat 2, 3, mag 2 is 4. You know 2, 3, the 2 is 4. Times 7 is 28, so I've got to get rid of first the plus 4 by saying minus with 4. And if I minus it with 4, it's going to be 24. Now I'm starting to do it the way that the matrix and people do it. Because I don't have to show that I said minus 4, minus 4. A matrix child doesn't do that. You know that it's minus 4 this side and it's gone, minus 4 that side and it's 24. A matrix child also knows... I want to get rid of the times 3, so I'll divide by 3 and just get x. And on that side, I'll divide by 3, and 3 divided into that is 8. Do you see it? So I can show that I've divided by 3, but I don't have to show it. So if you are clued up with this now, and you're getting into the hang of it, you are allowed to leave it away. As long as you don't make mistakes, as long as it's printed here, then you don't have to write everything that I've taught you. And I'm going to give you homework on this. Als jouw huiswerk, oefenen 9.4, 3, 6, 8, 10, 11, 15, 17, 18, 20 en 29. I'm sure you all can read, but I'm saying it anyway. 3, 6, 8, 10, 11, 15, 17, 18, 20 en 29. Practice makes perfect. Don't forget that you're writing test on Monday the 1st of June on those exercises that we sent you. You can always go back and go look at the videos again, but you've got it all in your book, so you can go and check through them. Remember, it's an open book test, it's a four book toets. So with other words, you can with your book by your sit. On stier of your achter, you can lekker sit and uitfigure, uitfigure, and for stier tien elf uur. You can sit and watch it, it's, it's an open book test, you can watch the videos, you can um, go back into your books 
and make sure of your answers and send it back to us by 11 o'clock. So, I'm not going to learn.